Welcome to iWire's Subaru Wiring Harness Installation Video, Part 2. In this video, we cover how to install the bulkhead harness back into your Subaru. Once the harness has basically been laid in, you can put in the heater core. To do this, you will use the bolt and bolt it in in the three corners shown in this video. Please note that in this shot, the wiring harness should actually run on the left side of this bolt. It was put on the right side for video purposes. Next, install the dash bar. Come in from the passenger side and place the dash bar on the bolts coming from the driver side first, then the passenger side bolts. You want to put in all of the bolts just a little first to make sure they are aligned and then tighten them all at the end. Otherwise, you will fight with them a little bit. Now you will bolt in the steering column. You can rest it on the bracket on the right side while bolting it in. When doing this, make sure the donut at the firewall is securely lodged in the slot before installing the steering column. If you don't tighten the donut, the steering column will still wiggle after being bolted in. Run the front passenger impact sensor airbag plug, as well as the passenger glove box airbag plug over to the correct side. Now pull all of the center console plugs, including the plugs for the heater and AC controls, stereo plugs, and the cigarette lighter and ashtray plugs. Put the white brackets into the side of the dash bar to hold the harness in place. Now you'll want to tighten the bolts for the ground ring terminals to the bottom mounting spots. Make sure to remember these as grounds are very important. Working from the passenger side, start plugging in your harness. First, the white sunroof map light connector. the white, black, and blue plugs to the rear harness, make sure your green connectors are plugged in. Connect the airbag plug and lastly the white door harness plug. You will then secure this ground ring terminal to the side wall with a bolt. Install the blower box. Make sure all of the wiring is sitting on top of the blower box so you don't smash it. Then just wiggle the blower box until it fits into the grooves. There is a hook on the upper right side. 
If you have a friend, they can help you guide it through the firewall on the engine bay side. This takes a little persistence. Once the blower box is in the right place, bolt it in. The AC drain line hose, shown here, needs to go through the hole above the ECU into the engine bay. This is very important so that way water doesn't collect inside the car. Plug in the blower connectors, the evac thermo switch plug, the blower motor resistor plug, this pink plug which will stay open unless you have a wagon, and the bottom plug is for the blower motor itself. Now bolt in the bracket for the illumination control box. Connect the black plug into the black box, tuck the airbag plug, and connect it to the matching blue plug. Working on the driver's side, attach the plastic hook. Hang the bracket on the bolts to keep it in place for now. You'll also secure the bottom of the wiring harness to the top of the fuse box. Undo this bracket for the hood latch. The harness needs to go in between the cable of the hood latch and the wall. Connect the brown main relay plug, the white blower motor relay plug, and the green fuel pump relay plug. The plugs down here go into the front harness. Just match the plugs and connect them. These plugs go into the back of the fuse box. Once connected, push the relays out of the way and mount the fuse box back into place. There is a blue power window relay and a pink fog light relay. They slide into the slots on the side of the fuse box with the blue relay being on top. Plug in the blue fuse box plugs into the front of the fuse box. Plug in the brake pedal switch, the cruise clutch switch, and the starter clutch switch. Plug in the window circuit breaker and the black flasher module and blue starter relay plugs. Bolt the bracket back into place. The OPD2 port, the white keyless entry plug, and green test mode connectors will all stay open for now. Next, connect the white door harness plug and tuck it away. 
the white cruise control module plugs into the metal box on the side. The yellow plug is the airbag main connector. Make sure it is fully clicked. You need to make sure the green tab is fully pushed down to be locked. Connect the ignition cylinder plug and the steering column plugs that go into the steering column harness. Be careful not to switch up the white plug with yellow lock here with the similar white and yellow plug that comes with the cluster harness. Plug in the white door chime connector. The gray data link connector stays open for Subaru scan tools. It will bolt up to the side of the heater box. Finally, install the dash bar bracket on top. This piece of harness will just sit on top of the bracket for now. Thank you for watching part two of our installation video. Stay tuned for part three where we show you how to install your fuel pump controller.